Hello everybody, welcome back to your favourite FC24 series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper episode 61. And apologies again for the lack of videos, in the last one I did say I had a bit of a bad time as of late and I said hopefully it'll get better and sadly it got worse. Long story short, basically I nearly lost my mum, she is starting to get better now, but obviously I did have to look after her and still am looking after her. But family is more important than anything else, so we'll leave it at that. But on to better times. First match in today's episode is against Arsenal. But before we get into this one, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn the on so you do not miss a thing. Let's get into it. First match is against Arsenal. Like I said, it is in the Premier League, and they start off three minutes in down the left side of the pitch into the pay box. They go into Odegaard. They takes a shot. Not even close, baby. Just skirting past the post, but not even on target. But again, left side of the pitch, Odegaard on the ball, lose it to Mudrik, who plays a blind back pass towards me, and it's intercepted. But I get my hands on it. But what is Mudrik doing? Doesn't even look as who the ball back towards me. The Arsenal player nearly intercepts it. Actually does. Gets a touch to it. I move out the way but get back just in time to get my hands onto the ball. Keeping it all level. Nil-nil. Going into the half-time interval but we have done absolutely nothing. All Arsenal. They had two okay opportunities. Somehow we've had nothing. We've done nothing. Not even had the ball. Second half continues that same way. Arsenal onto it now. Deal of Renzo gets a shot off but I make a really good save. Full stretch but the referee has given a penalty on Silver. What is that for? Oh come on. No, 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 no. Such a soft penalty but Saka's there to step up Kenny slot it away absolutely not read him the whole way yes! Yes! tried the cheeky chip but it wasn't good enough against me but now finally we get into Arsenal at half of the pitch quick pass actually great pass in the end we get a ball there but no too close to Mike Manyang good little save there only nine minutes left and we're back on another attack look at the men flooding over his right side of the pitch leaves the ball to Chuka Wednesday what can he do nothing hits it straight at the goalkeeper now only two minutes left we're still on the ball I think it's Nkuku there finding Enzo into Mudrik now one of the goalkeeper and he slots it away underneath the goalkeeper little toe poke and he could quite easily snatch this game away from Arsenal we've had so little opportunities but we made it count there with that one the pass from Enzo is just a little knock on but Mudrik is there takes his time shows composure look at it takes that little touch and nearly runs away with it there just underneath Mike Manyang couldn't do nothing about it should have closed down a little bit more but the toe poke does it go through his legs it looks like from that angle but maybe not 1-0 is the final score we win the London derby against Arsenal big three points you can see an 8.3 rating the goalkeeper man of the match with only two saves but obviously a penalty is incredible and you see Mike there only one save not good enough from him but you can see we're in a little bit of a clean sheet run at the moment since Crystal Palace with a nil nil and a few international matches finished nil nil and another four so we've had eight clean sheets in a row which is a little bit of a streak and we're going to hopefully carry that on into the next match in the Europa League you can see we're sitting second at the moment and we actually need to win this match to get anything from this group if we don't win I think we're out of the Europa League which is not a good look it is against Aberdeen should be a walk in the park let's find out how this starts off though they get the first opportunity six minutes in down the right side of the pitch got time runs in whips the ball into the middle look at the header down <laughs> I had to mention the clean sheet streak, didn't I? Literally, I thought about it and bang, they score a goal early on in the match. It's Aberdeen. What are we doing? Such shocking defender. Not a lot I could do. He's got time and space and kind of like floats it, but it's quite a lot of pace on the ball as well. Look how high he rises. No one near him. Slots it away. It's a great header, but defending is shocking. So, so bad. I'm rooted to the floor and we're 1-0 down in a must-win match. We do get an opportunity the 26th minute. We have Sterling on the ball. It gets taken out. That's actually a nasty challenge. That's not Sterling. It's Lejeune, our midfielder, who gets absolutely crunched. Nowhere near the ball at all. And referee's going to go give him a yellow card. Is that it? Come on, ref. Nowhere near the ball. Not Literally just takes him out for nothing either. He's going nowhere. And now he looks like he's injured. No, I think he's going to walk off. But look at the captain. Just crunches him. Feet high as well. Disappointed from the referee. But we do have Nkunku, who we know is dangerous on the free kick. Stepping up. 27th minute. Can he slot this one away? Takes a shot. Goes back at the goalkeeper side. A good little save. I think he should have gone over the wall. But from the corner, we float it into the middle. They clear it just towards the edge of the box now. Lejeune picks it up into Nkunku. Quick pass to Fofana. Drills it low. Keeper with a nice little save there to match it. We are building a bit of pass and move as well down the right side of the pitch. Gertruda holds up the play into Nkunku. Quick pass outside the edge of the box. Another shot. Falls back out. Another one. No. Easy for the goalkeeper to hold on to. And it's the first half done and dusted. We're starting to build this pressure. But we can't quite get our shooting boots on. Second half needs to 
change. We need to get a goal. We start off 56 minutes. Another long ranger going wide. Keeper didn't know that. Nice little save to match it one more time. And Kukudo into Fofana. He's got time and space. Keeps that quickly. Going to get the rebound. No, he can't referee. That's a penalty every day of the week. How has he not given it? He gets the shot off. I don't know why it took him so long to shoot. Keeper does well. And he like, grabs his leg here. Look at that. <laughs> Have no idea how it's not a penalty ridiculous referee screwed us big time but finally we do get a goal it is the main man sterling i swear he's number seven but 19 he is a nice little shot nice little goal floats past the goalkeeper who for some reason can't save that one maybe it gets caught off guard i think we snatched the ball away in the midfield holds up play a little bit look at that pass so pitch perfect beautiful pass takes a shot from like underneath him like loops it up over keeper should be doing better he's got loads of time to watch it doesn't react quick enough though and then i get signed off obviously conceded a goal didn't have to make any saves 4.9 rating and do we go on to win no we draw the match they had one shot by the way and they scored it ridiculous i think that is enough for us to move on in the europa league so that we did enough the draw was enough. Now we move on to another massive match. This time it's got Newcastle back in the Premier League. We're holding on to the top four spot. I think we're third at the beginning of the episode. Can we continue that and get some more points? Build it up and catch the first place. But starting off, Newcastle get a shot off there. Close my legs beautifully. And we do manage to clear our lines. Nice little touch from that angle. Don't expect him to score. But I did get a shot onto my knees. Good little save. But now it's still building a bit of pressure into the box. Again, another ridiculous save. Good strong hand movement there. 26 minutes. Still back on it. Lose the possession of the ball. And they get the little bit of pass off. Takes a shot early, but I'm across my line. Full stretch. I think it might have been going wide, but I wasn't to know. Had to keep that ball out. I think we can see it from this angle. It takes a shot. It doesn't quite have the pace on it, but I cover it near post. Look at the full stretch. Good strong hands as well. But from that corner, they play it short once again. We didn't know unless they played the ball early. Get the header. Oh, shit. Here we go again. And get the lead as well. It's a bit of a calamity of errors. We don't mark the two men from the short corner and I don't cover my near post either. The man online should be doing better as well. Guardiola with it though. Look at it. No one goes out quick enough. Has the time. Finds the man. He runs onto it. And it's just a clammy. Man on the post doesn't do nothing. I move out of the way as well because I expected it to go over his head. But he got in the near post header, back of the net, and we're losing, going into half time. Headers are on my kryptonite, apparently. Cannot do nothing about them. But we still have plenty of time to get back in this match. Hopefully we get an opportunity because we're struggling. Finally, though, early on in the second half, Mudrik plays the ball into Fofana. Keeps running, gets past the defender, takes a shot. No, gets tackled at the last minute. But hopefully that builds our confidence because we do have a man left side of the pit. I think it's Lejeune, actually, into Mudrik. What can he do? Quick feet, keeping the ball away from the defender. So he snatches it off again, takes a shot. Keeper near post, safe. I don't know how he got that shot off, but he did. Only 12 minutes left of the match. They play the ball just outside the box, takes a shot. I get a touch and it falls into the back of the net. What is going on? on way too easy Madaweke he will take the, I don't know if he's yeah he was a Chelsea player right I believe he was anyway easy pass in the midfield space in between the two centre backs I don't know what Brem was doing leaving acres of gaps between him and Silver and I don't know how I've not saved it he takes the shot I watch it the whole way and get a hand to it to slap it into my own net so disappointing and then I get subbed off obviously two goals conceded 5.0 rating and we lose 3-0 we had one shot Donut. Not what you want to see. It's been so disappointing. Now we have a match in the Carabao Cup. I think it's quarter final or round of 16 against Manchester United. We are at home though, but we need to win this if we've got any hope of winning some silverware this season. It's a massive match. It's a big target on the head. But nine minutes in, we have Mudrik running and running. Look at the space he's got. Slows down a little bit, waiting for a bit of support. Finds a man in the middle for Fana. Plays it off to Nkuku straight at the goalkeeper. Terrible shot in the end. Man United get the first opportunity. Rashford plays the ball into Hoyland. Takes a shot through the defender's leg, but I'm there to cover it and hold on to the ball nicely. 23rd minute, quick one twos between Enzo and Chukawezi gets into the box takes a shot no he gets tackled and gets tackled again every time last ditch tackle and now we have another opportunity for Man United into the box takes a shot wayward though heads up if you're in the crowd but only 10 minutes left in this first half we have Mudrik down left side he's been galloping down all day long gets past the defender into Enzo now takes a shot finds the back of the net what a strike that is Obviously, we don't want to big him up too much because of what's going on at the moment, but it's a good strike, and that's all we're going to say about it. Good run from Mudrik as well. Gets past the defender who commits himself way too easy and thumps this ball past him into the side net. And Keeper could be doing a little bit better. Kind of falls to the floor, but the power beats him. We're 1-0 up just before the end of the first half, and there goes the whistle. Going into half the midfield with the 1-0 lead. Can we get another clean sheet? We 
We've got a few. Can we carry that on into the second half? We go. We get another opportunity in the midfield. 65th minute. Mudrick plays the ball into Fofana. Player commits to the floor again into Mudrick. One more time. Takes a shot too early. Keeper watches it the whole way. No trouble at all. But now we're starting to find the rhythm in our pass. And gets past the defender again into Enzo. One more time. Little Traveller. No problem for the goalkeeper. I think it's a bit too cheeky. Maybe should have put his foot through it once again on his left peg there. Keeper has watched it. Closed down the angle beautifully. Couldn't really find that gap. Watched it. Good strong hands out for the corner. But now in 94th minute, we have a corner from the other side. Whips it into the middle. A little header off the crossbar. And the referee blows the whistle. We do go on to win this match. 1-0. We're moving on in the Cowboy Cup. 7.0 rating. Another clean sheet from the one save. Their goalkeeper, though, made three saves for the four. Couldn't stop that Enzo banger. And now look at the clean sheets for the Premier League. You can see we're at the top nine clean sheets of 17. Allison's four behind us now with only five. Manjan's got four. Raya's got four. Uh, the other Man United goalkeeper there got four. And at the bottom there, Omlin's got one in four. He's a pretty good goalkeeper though. But top assist, Gordon from Newcastle, six and 12. Chukawese up there, six and 12. Along with Fernandez, six and 17. I should say 17 for Chukawese as well. We do have any more? No, we have a few Liverpool players at the bottom. Lindelof's got three and 17. Salah as well, three and 17. But top goal scorer, Diaz from Liverpool, 12 and 17. Ferreira, 12 and 17. Fofana from Chelsea, 10 and 16. Also in Kuku, got eight and 17. Any more from Chelsea? No, that is it. But that's going to be it for today's episode as well. I hope you'd enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. We just have my channel. Subscribe if you're new. And turn the on so you do not miss a thing. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.